Okay, guys, we're going to go fast here. Um, I don't want to be sitting here talking to you for an hour and boring you. So, welcome back, Rage Nation, for another video. Today, we are going to be doing a tier list about Regulation H, as Regulation H is right around the corner here. Um, I've got the tier list maker pulled up. Uh, this is like every Pokemon that you could use. We are not going to talk about every one of them. Um, I might filter them into the don't use as we go. But, yeah, um, we're going to talk about main main Pokemon that you want to be thinking about building with. Um, just going in Pokedex order here. So, starting off, Venusaur. Um, I thought about doing, like, um, like B minus B plus kind of stuff, too. Uh, but I think Venusaur is going to... Venusaur? Venusaur is going to be B tier, um, just because it can abuse Sun and spam Sleep Powder. And when the power level is a little lower, um, having a somewhat bulky Pokemon that has fast Sleep Powder is good. Uh, Charizard has no gimmick that it can use, and Blastoise can sell Shell Smash, so yeah, I like that's the order of the starters right now for Kanto. Uh, Blastoise does get access to Fake Out and Water Spout, and Rain is really strong right now, so Blastoise is a Pokemon that you can consider using. Um, Clefairy, I feel like is going to be a high B tier. Friend Guard, Follow Me, Sing, Support is just always going to be good um, as far as, you know, Clefairy goes. It, 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 it does one thing, and the only thing that it does is its supporting role. So it's never amazing, but it's always a good Pokemon that you can pick if you need a good support Pokemon. Um, I would say that Snow is going to be over Sun. Um, for the Nine Tails, as far as that goes, Alone Nine Tails just finds a lot more usage. Um, without Restricted, there's not really any reason to use Raichu because it's not redirecting those strong Maridon electric attacks um, away from a Kyogre. Um, I'm going to put Hisuian Arcanine over Regular Arcanine. Uh, as soon as we got to Regulation D, Regular Arcanine fell off in favor for Hisuian Arcanine. And there's a lot of reasons for that, and mo mainly being Hisuian Arcanine is just better. It's bulkier, it's not as fast, but it hits harder and is bulkier. Which is something that you want in an Intimidate user. I think Annihilate... I think Annihilate would be B tier. Man, we are we are away from all the, the A tier Pokemon here. Um, yeah, it's good, and like, Mousape is going to be good when the power level is lower. We saw it in Reg C, um, and that's kind of... We're playing Reg C, but not, you know, like the Reg C only added the Treasures of Ruins, and now we're taking away the Paradox and like Legendaries and stuff. Uh, but in the Indigo Disc and uh, Teal Mask, there was a lot more powerful Pokemon that were introduced that weren't available back in the Reg A, Reg B days. But I still think Annihilate is going to be good. Um, let's see. Next useful the Weezings. I'd say having the fairy type is nice over being just pure poison, but wheezing Jimmick's not going to be that good. Uh, Muck, also a Jimmick with the Moody stuff, the Power of Alchemy, Moody, whatever. I wish Hisuian Voltorb was going to be good, but I even with this lower power level, I really don't think that it is going to. Um, but here's one that is interesting, is... You have a new option of support Pokemon with Electabuzz and Magmar to follow me and do static spam and flame body spam with the follow me. So I think they're definitely worse than Clefairy, so we'll put them down here. But that's still an option if it fits on your team. It's something that you can think about doing. People thought about Rhyperior coming back. Um, with Terrestrialization, taking away its four times weaknesses, maybe... Um, but there's a lot better Trick Room attackers that we have access to now that kind of make you shy away from that. Um, I'm putting Kingdra in low B just because Rain is so good. I miss Politoed. Kingdra Politoed is something that could come back. But we will have to wait and see um, how the meta shifts out. The early tournaments have shown that Rain is just super strong, and it might continue that way. Um, but, you know, people always find a way around the archetypes. Personally, I am a Tauros Gyarados believer. 
bulky, intimidate, things like that. We saw a lot of Tauros popping up towards the end of like Reg A, Reg B. Um, both breeds, both the Blaze and the Aqua breeds, if you can remember back to BGC 23, there was really a lot of them that were popping up and they were proving to be pretty good. So those can definitely make a comeback. P2, um, not really like putting the tiers in order, though it kind of looks like I am. Really good solid Trick Room setter, especially with Terra, because it wants to run Terra Blast because it gets stab on it, and then when it terrestrializes, it also gets stab on it again. Um, Scizor, Cleavor, I think they could find a niche on some teams, they could find some use, but they're not going to be like out there, you know? Um, out of all the evolutions, it would be Sylveon. Uh, power level's a little lower, Pixelate, Hyper Voice, Terra Fire, Terra Blast, always good. We, our best fairy type in Fluttermane has suddenly vanished from existence, so there is another fairy type that you can use. Dragonite is going to be up there in the in the A tier for reasons that it's just always been good. Uh, another kind of gimmicky is Hisuian Typhlosion over regular Typhlosion. The Sun Boosted Terrifier Eruptions, it's kind of Torkoal 2.0 without Trick Room. Uh, Murkrow is like your Tailwind Setter option that's not Whimsicott, so it's going to go in B, and I guess, spoiler alert, Whimsicott is going to go in A. I'm just going to start getting these guys out of my way so I don't have to scroll down so far. Bip, 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 bip. Okay. Where were we? Uh, PZ. Um, I think below P2, but still B tier. Adaptability Hyper Beams are just going to be good, and with a lower power level, you could get this guy behind Tailwind and start doing some stuff. I feel like Overquill could find a niche again, another Swift Swim Pokemon for Rain. Um, I was trying to remember who brought it to... Somebody brought it to an international that I can't remember, but he did really well with it. Ferregoraf, probably a Trick Room Setter of choice over P2. Blocking the priority just gives it that leg above, you know. Um, and that just, that kind of just stays where it is, you know. Ferregoraf was good in Reg G and continues to be good now. Um, not Ursaluna and don't use. Ursaluna and definitely use. Both Ursaluna's A tier. Trick Room is going to be super powerful this format. Um, and Ursaluna for Regraph, whether it be um, Ursaluna Blood Moon or base Ursaluna, you're going to be able to find a use with them. Uh, Tyranitar. Tyranitar will be making a comeback. I don't know if it's going to be A or B. I think B currently just because rain is so strong um like you can overwrite their rain with your sand but that still doesn't take away the fact that you're weak from water and switching in tyranitar into attacks that it's weak to is not really what you want to do um with the absence of dynamax it doesn't really carry that same weakness policy double bulk that it used to have and it used to dominate in sword and shield but still going to be good tyranitar definitely a good pick and I'm kind of coming out of nowhere with this one, but Glade, I think, could be just as a good of a trick room setter as P2. Reason being, um, it's access to wide guard and stuff. People found some niche with Glade, and I think at the power the power level being lower, I think you're going to be able to find a lot more use for our boy Glade. My poor Yolteon, my poor guy. You're the top, but don't use. You're in my heart. Uh, oh, Snorlax. I kind of miss Snorlax. I don't really think that you should use it, but it's another Trick Room option um, that could be viable. People will probably try it, and it could shoot up. You know, this is all speculation. The regulation hasn't even started yet. And so, um, Discount Iron Hands could find a niche. Still got the Fake Out support and everything like that. And then another Rainmon. I don't think Ludicolo is going to be the Rainmon of choice, but it is one that you have. Still gets Swift Swim, still is powerful. Unfortunately, it lost Scald, and that's Ludicolo's biggest downfall, is that it can't Scald anymore. Um, so, just not as good. Another bulky water type coming in that will be good, Milotic. Um, 
Should some of these be in the A+, plus? I feel like you should be in the A+, plus. you two are really good. Let's see, what else do we got? Dusclops, niche trick room setter, probably won't be as good as in Short and Shield, but one that you can use. Conkelder, yes. No, not in Don't Use. Um, you're gonna be lacking for fighting types. You lost Koridon, you lost Iron Hands, <coughs> so, and you lost Chen Pao Sacred Sword. So fighting types, gonna be in short supply, but Conkelder is a good option for that. And then alongside, um, our boy in the sand is going to be Excadrill. Right up there with Tyranitar. Just Sand Rush, Rock Slide, Spam. Um, you know, it used to be Tyranitar, Lycanroc, and now it's Tyranitar, Excadrill. Excadrill is a little bit better than Lycanroc. Um, Salamence. I feel like Salamence, as an Intimidate user, low B tier. Um, like, it saw some usage and some niche. You know, it's an Intimidate user. So, it's always going to have something that it can do. Um, male Basculin specifically, up here with the Rainmons, I think it'll be A tier. Two things that you can do is Choice Band Swift Swim or Choice Scarf Adaptability. Um, both hit, like, trucks in the rain, and then, if, especially if it's the last Pokemon left alive, it gets ask, access to Last Respects, which gets up to 150 base power if it's the only Pokemon left on your side of the field. So, so we're going to throw Female Basculation into Don't Use... Um, cause it just, it's like a special attacking one, but, like, it's just not as good. Um, Crocodile and Scrafty, I'm not gonna throw up there, but more niche Intimidate users that you can consider. Um, oh, here's our boy. Moongus, gonna be good. Wims is probably going to be the Tailwind Setter of choice for this format over Murkrow. We lost Tornadus, so Wimscott's like the next best dude. Um, Chandelure might find some usage. Hydreigon, uh, kind of gimmicky, so I'm going to throw him in B tier. The Focus Energy Scope Lens Draco Meteor Always Critting set. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that saw some play in Regulation A and B. Definitely could come out. Oh, I forgot about Talonflame. Get out of here, Wims. Talonflame, Tailwind Setter of choice. That gets priority Tailwind, priority Brave Bird, will -O Sunny Day. There's a lot of things that Talonflame can do. Definitely going to be um, one of the premier Tailwind Setters of choice. Get your boy up here. Rillaboom will be joining you guys in a second. <laughs> uh, King Gambit can make a comeback, though. Um, was really good when the power level was a little bit lower. Even when the power level was a slightly higher, King Gambit was still, like, joining in the fray, had some things that it could do. So King Gambit could be making a comeback. Steel types are just good. You know, Steel is just such a great type. Um, we're going to be taking Hisuian Dekadui. I've seen some people testing with Hisuian Dekadui a little bit. Um, of more of a gimmick, but now with the lower power level and its ability to not be intimidated, so it gets around um, Incineroar really well, especially being a fighting type. I think Kasumi and Decidueye and Primarina as well. Giving some love to the Alolan starters, even though that's a Kasumi in form. Um, but yeah, Rain being super good, Primarina, Liquid Voice, um, spam those Hyper Voices. It's also one of the few fairy types that um, you can look at using because we are a very short supply of fairy types. Um, I'm not gonna put regular Gudra just cause... His, whoa. Hisuian Gudra is just Gudra but better. Could be kinda gimmicky, but... Um, you no longer really have to run Shell Armor cause you ran that to get around Urshifu, critting you through your defense boost. You might still consider it... Um, cause, you know, you, you just get randomly crit sometimes, so without Ogre Pond, without Urshifu, <coughs> critical hits are going to be fewer and far in between. So pairing that behind the screens with boosts and stuff, and then the body presses and heavy slams, just be able to sit on the field forever, really wear down your opponent's team, I think that will. I think assuming Gudra is going to do some stuff. Uh, Lycanroc, not going up there, cause we have Excadrill now. Uh, maybe that thing can do something better than Excadrill, but I'm not sure. 
Um, Como probably coming into B. And then there's your boy. I'll, I'll put you in A+. You're not Incineroar or Amoongus, but you're one of them. Those, the top tier Pokemon really need no super introduction. Um, I'm going to put Goldango in S. I've seen really promising things about Goldango. If it was me being just me, not being objective, Goldango would be down here. Um, that's because this is feels strong when I play it, feels weak when I don't, when I use it. <coughs> and that is 100% purely a skill issue on my end. My goal this regulation is to learn how Goldango works and really get good at using it. Because I know it's going to be strong. Um, Palafin. New Palabalance could be making a comeback. Again, rain really strong. Instead of Amoongus, uh, Arcanine Palafin, like Goldango, it will just be... Amoongus, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Goldangle, Palafin, Balance, and then you just slap a fourth on there like Primarina because you're like, I need a special attacking fairy. And that's what those teams used to do with Fluttermane, is they would just slap a nice fairy type on there. Sinistra, power level lower, Trick Room Setter, Healing on Switch In, Strength Sap. Uh, I really like Sinistra. I used it a lot in Reg E. That's what it, one of the Pokemon I took to Sacramento, actually. Um, so I'm glad that it will be able to be used again. Archaladon and Dragapult. I feel like Archaladon A, Dragapult B. Really good dragon types, really strong, can hold their own. Uh, both have pretty easy sets to use, and now you can Terra Ghost Choice Band Terra Blast with Dragapult to get that Ghost Stab. And then Archaladon just does Archaladon things, especially since it loves Rain so much, and Rain is really good this format. Like, I've, I've basically built you a team out of these tiers. You got Rain. Uh, oh, we missed Pelipper. Pelipper, Pelipper, Pelipper. Rain Setter of Choice. You take Amoongus, Phragraph, Ursaluna, Pelipper, Archaladon, Basque Legion. Boom. There's your half Trick Room, half Brain Go Fast team. Go win a tournament. Um, Baxcalibur. One of the pseudos I feel like can make a good comeback. Uh, these, these guys are not ranked, but like things that I'm putting more towards the top of B tier are ones that I think will be better. So like this top line here is like B tier but good. And, like, just because they're B tier doesn't mean, um, like, they're bad mods. It just means, like, you take only one of those to fit on your team according to your team's needs. Take, like, one or two of these, you know, like, all three of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and boom, there's your team. <laughs> um, am I missing anything? I don't need to explain the Don Dozo, right? The Don... The Dawn do the Dawn things. Mouse Hold, come back with Mouse Ape, beats here. Good sport Pokemon, follow me, friend guard, always good. Uh, oh, Garganackle. I'm gonna put Garganackle C. Wide guard, salt cure, stall. Um, but I definitely think it will find a niche, and somebody will probably find a way to use it to some success in a tournament. Um, Mouscarada and Skeledurge. Also going to be a lot better this format, but not like... Um, the best, you know, if your team can find a use for it, throw it on there, but definitely, definitely C tier. Not throwing any shade at him, but just, just C tier. Uh, and Didi, Psychic Terrain, a good supporter for Trick Room teams and for just setup teams in general, if you want to start Swords Dancing or whatever. <coughs> and Didi is your go-to follow me boy. Um, Barrascuta would be good if we didn't have Basque Legion, but Basque Legion will definitely take it over. Araquanid, another Trick Room Rain option, I feel like definitely B. Uh, it's one that you would slap on, um, and, you know, it would be like your one B tier mon, but, you know, just Water Bubble, Terra Water stuff just hits so hard. So, definitely going to have some sp space for that. Um, we could see Palmot do something um revival blessing is a thing so you definitely can't discount it you know it also gets fake out support so anything that gets fake out in a good move like revival blessing 
Comfe could come in, probably D tier. Uh, it also gets Trick Room and like the floral healing and stuff, but um, without Dynamax, like just healing, constant healing up that bulk doesn't do as much. Um, I'm gonna put Sarah Ledge C and Armor Rouge B, just cause Armor Rouge can Trick Room better than Sarah Ledge can, and Special Attackers are just always kind of better, cause Incineroar is gonna be so good that Sarah Ledge just Sarah Ledge literally cannot touch Incineroar. Like after an Intimidate, its Fire and Ghost moves are just not doing anything to an Incineroar, and like Incineroar is just gonna be healing up with Grassy Terrain. Especially since this thing also likes to tear a grass, and Sonora also loses grass. So, sorry for Ysera Ledge believers. Hatterene and Grimmsnarl. Um, Hatterene B, just a good Trick Room attacker, but not the best Trick Room attacker. I mean, Ursaluna is sitting right there, bro. But Grimmsnarl, good support Pokemon. A tier. I'm a Grimmsnarl believer. If you do the correct things for Grimmsnarl, you have to have a good set for it. Hydrapple, B. Somebody might find a niche for it now that the power level is lower. It got introduced when the power level was too high, so I feel like people have kind of forgotten about it, but maybe somebody will pop off with it. Um, Gothitelle, probably a C-tier support Pokemon right now, unless you're Wolfie trying to do Paris Trap, in which case Gothitelle is an S-tier Pokemon. <laughs> um, and... Like browsing this list, is there anything that I'm missing? Uh, Hisuian Lilligant, Hisuian Lilligant, uh, probably C, but you know, you've got Torkoal in this format, and so that is a hold on, let me let me restart my music. Uh, this is awkward, you guys haven't been hearing the music the whole time. Um, well, I guess I'm just going to have to edit in some music then. I'm going to keep listening to it, though. <laughs> um, let's see. Smeargle. Gotta put, gotta respect Smeargle. At least B. Let's see, is there anything else that I'm missing? Houndstone might be able to do something. Ah, Glamora. The Glamora Dondozo Toxic Stall. Yes, that is a strategy that it will be coming back. Um, Metagross wishes it would be good. Gastrodon. Gastrodon might pop off because rain is so strong. A lot of water moves, but we'll have to wait and see on Gastrodon. Taking the blue one. Blue and green, obviously. Screw this one. Um, Hisuian Zoroark is, might be something that we see. Kind of drop it in the C niche tier. I feel like that's what C tier is for me. It's kind of like niche where it can do some stuff, but I forgot to grab Torkoal when I was talking about it. Um, yeah, C tier can like do some stuff kind of more niche, but like on the right team, it will be strong and something that you have to worry about. Uh, the Rotom forms. I feel like Rotom Heat will be above Rotom Wash this time around. Where'd you go? There you are. As well as Rotom Cut. Those are just like the good Rotoms. Power level's a little lower. Rotom likes that. Um, but I would I would go with Heat if you're looking to use at a Rotom right now. But, you know, again, we'll have to wait and see. The regulation hasn't even started yet. But these are kind of like my initial thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the description below. I feel like this tier list is similar to a lot of... Uh, what are the other... What the other players are saying, but hopefully I was able to bring in some new insights or some new thoughts that people hadn't really like thought about yet. But again, like if you're new to team building and you're wanting to get into Regulation H, I would focus on these first four tiers. Choose all three from S if you want. You know, a couple from A plus an A, and one or two from B if you've got room for it, and save the niching niche picks for when you're better at team building. And then all these guys. Unfortunately, sad to say, um, not going to be the most viable. But yeah, that is my thoughts on Reg H. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, we are I'm cooking up a Reg H team offline. Um, it's kind of coming together right now, and I'm kind of keeping it a secret until we can do some Reg H content on the channel. So make sure you hit the sub button because you'll want to be around for that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!